scarlet blaze, a path forward. The empire manages to prevail over the kingdom and central church's coalition, despite the alliance's declaration of war. But Archbishop Rhea is nowhere to be found. Edelgard and the others soon realize the Archbishop aims to use Alel's secret trails to lead a surprise attack on Garrick Mach, so the Empire regroups and moves to intervene. Dire news, my lord! Huh? What now? What's happened? Another fire? Has a horse escaped? Don't tell me it's an assassin! Where's the body? Uh, no, my lord. Worse. There's a legion of soldiers closing in on Garrett Mach. We think it's the Knights of Seros. Ah, but we're safe in here, yes? My life is of great military importance, you know. Protect me! Put those troops Her Majesty sent to use! Count Farley, the enemy is inside the monastery. We couldn't hold them back. But these walls are thick! How did they breach them? The walls yet stand, my lord. But it appears they have made use of a number of unknown secret passages. Now they are inside and wreaking havoc, and it's only a matter of time before the monastery falls. We have the numbers to stop them, but that matters little if we don't know where they actually are. We must flee, my lord. All hope is lost. Urgent news, my lord. Spare my life. I beg you. An unknown army has appeared and started attacking the Knights of Saros. Her Majesty's reinforcements. Doubtful, my lord. This army wields large-scale magic and is also attacking the Imperial forces. The battlefield is sheer chaos. It's impossible to tell friend from foe. What in the blazes is happening? Church or Empire, I care not. Eradicate them all. Engulf them in our darkness. It will be done. At last, we can finally give the foolish descendants of those beasts the lesson they deserve. We will expose their filthy underground resting place and steal every last one of their essences. If we can breach it. The hole in the forest that the bandits raided was secured with a seal. Shall we deal with it after we take the monastery? We'll tear this disgusting rat's nest apart. Lady Rhea. Who are these people? They're attacking both sides indiscriminately. A clandestine organization that wields dark magic. Could it be? Have they returned to seek vengeance on Fodlan? But why show their hand now? Deal with them, Catherine. Not a single one of them can survive. They pose a far greater threat to our world than the Empire. Yes, Lady Rhea. Make way for Thunder Catherine! Clear a path or die! And that appears to be the current situation. The Knights of Saros are one thing. We came prepared to deal with them, and we can do so. But now you say those who slither in the dark have turned this into a three-way battle? Why? I am as baffled as you regarding a possible motive. Perhaps it was vital they seized the monastery before we could get here. If they knew we were engaged in a lengthy fight at ALL, they might have seen this as their chance. Well, they saved Count Farley's life either way. So be it. We will use this situation to our advantage and conduct a rescue. We can't afford to lose Garrig Mach or Count Farley. With one battle, we'll destroy the Central Church and put an end to those who slither in the dark. It's strange. I stopped caring about my father a long time ago, but the thought that he might die is... It's... He is not dead yet, Bernadetta. Unless you intend to be leaving him to his fates. No. No, of course not! I'm going to save him! If we're sloppy about this, we'll get dragged into the ongoing battle and suffer heavy losses. I would prefer to make this as easy for ourselves as we can. Let's find out what's going on in there, then look for the safest way in. I can tell you one thing. If Lord Arundel is here, I will choke the life out of him personally. I'll even let you watch, Your Majesty. Yes, just try not to overdo it. If that is settled, we will accomplish nothing more by brooding down here. Agreed. We'll begin the attack as soon as our preparations are complete. Hmm. 
I have a strategy. I have a stratagem. Do you think this might work? I have a strategy. I will endeavor my hardest. Shall we? Thankfully, we're not too late. Count Varley is still holding strong. If the reports can be trusted, Rhea is here. And so is a mage that fits the description of Arendelle, which is to say, Talus. That puts our two biggest adversaries in one place. We should deal with them here and now. Only one thing to do. Give it my all and prove you picked the right merc for the job. Indeed. I look forward to it. But just so you know, you've already proven that a dozen times over. Then I'm still a few dozen short. I gotta show you what the mercenary spirit's all about. This is my first time hearing of such spirit, but I'm eager to see it in action. Enough idle chatter, though. Everyone is in place. It's time to commence the final battle. We're gonna win. For you, for me, for all of us. And for a new Fodlin. One that'll go down in the history books as the best ever. Seems Rhea and Talus have both breached the monastery. The and for the sake of Fulton's future, we will make it there too. The barriers conjured by the enemy will hinder the movement of our troops. Then we've no choice but to proceed in two groups. We'll take care that neither one is wiped out. Where are the reinforcements? I don't want to die! We should rescue Count Farley if at all possible. It will not be easy to find another man to wear the might of. There's a structural weakness in that wall. A heavily armored unit might be able to break through and expedite the rescue. The Southern Church's bishop is an enemy of the goddess and must be destroyed. I am the bishop of the Southern Church, and you are obligated to protect me. Now do so and be quick about it. Count Varley safe. Imperial dogs! Stop interfering and learn your place! Ambush! I should have known things would not be as simple as they seemed. 
There is the perfect place to unleash my secret weapon! Let fly the arrows! Where are those coming from? Goodness me! Only the Count still had some fight left in him. I may be a bishop, but I still know when to stay the hand of mercy. I am above such games. Where did he go? We need to dispel those barriers at once. If he retreated to the upper floors, I do not see how we can reach him. But there must be some way around the barriers. We've received multiple reports of enemy troops appearing out of thin air. Perhaps they have some sort of warping device. That certainly sounds like it. We should check every hiding place we can think of. I have seen such warping devices beneath the monastery. They are controlled by a separate mechanism located elsewhere. Then we need to find that too? We're already in two groups. Let's continue the search. Use the catapults to crush the rebels below! They're attacking from above! We have to stop those catapults! I... We found the device, but it doesn't seem to operate by itself. These infernal black walls are preventing me from reaching Lady Rhea. And now the Imperial reinforcements are closing in. Well, I'll just have to go intercept them myself. I don't have any interest in exchanging words with you. You attacked us, and that's all I need to know. Not great while well, Lady Ray still needs me. What a nuisance! <laughs> Leave my heart! <laughs> Lady Rhea, it was my greatest pride to be your sword. Try to activate it. Does this mean we can warp now? Let's use the device to go after that dark mage! Come, Hubert! Let us show these names the power of the twin jewels! My turn! The twin what? If you desire my assistance, you can start by doing away with the strange epithets. I will not be caught off guard. This stronghold is ours. Now there will be no more hurry with the boys. Good. The device works. Still here. Bison is in danger. Help him. They're really pulling out all the stops here. We'd better intervene before we take any more casualties. So this is where I expired. I pray you will finish what must be done, Thomas. The dark barriers have vanished. Now we can rejoin our forces. The 
twin jewels. Well, I admit the two of you do shine together. I knew you would understand. Now, please remind you of that at every opportunity. That dark magic has dissipated. Now I can finally escape. I mean, strategically retreat! I'll fight until my dying breath to protect Lady Rhea. They're not soon. The wounds you carry. Please be safe. I hope that was enough to save her. I'll take a watch closely. Stop at us! Or are you not? Oh, they stopped. Oh, oh that's nice. As the goddess no is my witness, this is as far as you go! We annihilate them and reclaim all that is ours! Don't stop now. Not when the future we seek is within our grasp. Monastery is clear. I am... That's the last thing that was in our way. Well, except for the other things. Ah, it never ends. This is the moment we've been fighting for. Rhea and Talus will be waiting just ahead. It's a boon that the Empire's two greatest enemies are both within striking distance, yet we mustn't forget they are capable of anything. This situation could very quickly become dire. No kidding. We're talking about the heads of the Church and those who slither in the dark. I hope you are all mentally prepared. Because once this begins, we cannot afford to waste even a second. Lady Edelgard, we await your command. Through some strange twist of fate, we find ourselves capturing Garrick Mok for the second time. Our first victory signaled the start of the war, and today's victory will be a giant step toward ending it. Today, together, we usher in a new era. And at the end of this path lies our future. The time is now. All Imperial forces, advance! Come on, victory's nearly ours! You ignorant fools dare stand against me? Your reckoning has come, Thomas. Now you will pay for all that you did to my father and not the Empire. The enemies that remain are undeserving of human mercy. On your command, we will purge them with fire. I no longer care. For the sake of these people, you must die. Impossible. Not yet. You should care. Because I'm the one who's gonna kill you. Scarlet Grenade. Consume the old world and bring light to a new age! You would brandish fire at us. We gave you those flames. You dispelled the darkness. Now all that remains is rain. that I should settle things with Rhea here in the cathedral. No matter how many years pass, you people will always be little more than fools. Return the land you stole from us! You have left an 
with no other choice. Watch your way, mother. So be it. I will crush you where you stand! Raya can shapeshift too? But that form... Then you are the Immaculate One. So be it. Today we destroy you and secure our future. myself and return home my hero! I am Tetra McNeil, Queen of Bridget. I honor my pact by fighting with the Empire! Suppose I can allow myself one day of truly giving my all. Struggle 
seems nothing compared to what we faced in the Red Canyon. Not over. I must carry on for the sake of my mother's fallen comrades. Here it comes! You're done! Abominable creatures, I will give you the burial you deserve! There's no way they could have survived that. Well then, just one thing left. Must we do this now? <sighs> but I suppose you earned it. Just this once. At last, Fodlin has been freed from that which bound it. Today marks a momentous new chapter in its history. And we shall be its authors. It is now 1183, Blue Sea Moon. The Empire has freed Garig Mach and put the Knights of Seros and those who slither in the dark to rout. Amidst the fighting, Archbishop Rhea and Tallis both go missing. With no one to lead, the central church's influence wanes, and those who slither in the dark vanish. But due to Claude's breaking of a pact to serve his own ambitions, the Empire and Leicester Alliance soon return to war. Bloodshed between the three ruling powers of Fodlan Empire, Alliance, and the beleaguered kingdom rages on with no end in sight. Here we stand at long last, and with your help we have secured a historic victory. But while the war must go on, I must tell you something from the very depths of my heart. Thank you for being a pillar of strength to us all. Thank you for carrying us this far. I know I will look to you again in the days to come, for I can no longer imagine an empire without you.